Welcome. I am Jessica Tesler, your Library Media Specialist, and I will be assisting your instructor in introducing the Big Six Information Problem Solving Model to help you develop important information literacy skills and to give you a framework for planning and implementing your research project. The goals for our lesson will be to learn about the Big Six model and how it is useful for research, to identify the six steps of the Big Six model, and to help you understand how to apply the Big Six model to your research project. The Big Six model is an information problem solving model aligned across multiple state and national standards. Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills Social Studies strand for fifth grade requires students to use a problem solving process to identify a problem, gather information, list and consider options, consider advantages and disadvantages, choose and implement a solution and evaluate the effectiveness of that solution. Common Core Literacy Standards require students to draw on information from multiple print or digital sources, demonstrating the ability to locate an answer to a question quickly or to solve a problem efficiently. The International Society for Technology and Education, or ISTE, asks that students can plan and employ effective research strategies to locate information and other resources for their intellectual or creative pursuits. And the American Association for School Librarians, or AASL, requires learners to devise and implement a plan to fill knowledge gaps. These are all skills that can be supported by using the Big Six model. So what is the Big Six? The Big Six is an information problem solving model designed by Michael Eisenberg and Robert Berkowitz, which can be applied to all kinds of problems from figuring out what to do this weekend to planning and implementing a research project. The Big Six is useful for breaking down large information tasks, such as a research project, into smaller manageable steps. The Big Six model helps us think about our thinking and plan out our problem solving strategies. Before we learn more about the Big Six, I'd like you to take a pre-assessment. This pre-assessment will help determine what you already know about the Big Six model. Don't worry, it's not worth any points. It will just help you identify what you already know and what you need to focus on in the upcoming lessons. This can be useful to guide your note taking. The link to the pre-assessment is here on this slide. Remember, you will have to log in to test.com first before you can take the pre-assessment and watch the rest of the video modules for this lesson. The American Library Association defines information literacy by saying, to be information literate, a person must be able to recognize when information is needed and have the ability to locate, evaluate, and use effectively the needed information. The Big Six is a nationally recognized model that will help you develop this critical skill. Once you have taken the pre-assessment, you will have some idea of what you already know about the Big Six model and what you still need to learn. The following three videos will give a brief humorous introduction to the Big Six model, a good overview of the Big Six model, and a more detailed review of the Big Six model with specific instructions on how you can apply it to your research project. The final video will be another PowerPoint review of the Big Six model, and I will provide a handout with additional resources to help you remember and use the model for your research project. So let's take the pre-assessment and become information problem-solving experts. <laughs> 